All right, first things first. Um, no, I did not do this video all at once. I split it up. I did it on purpose. I wanted to split it up. I wanted to see how it was like over days, over time, so you can see. And a lot of this stuff was done last year. Like I've literally waited this long to put it out, but I've had time to work on it. So here it is. So it's cut up over quite a few days, um, but but I think you'll enjoy it. Stick around for a lot of it. A lot of it might, might interest you, might not, but there's some interesting things in there. Even at the very end, I explained a whole bunch of other stuff. So uh, yeah, check it out, man. Hope you guys like it. Do bass like worms? I mean, do they like worms, Michael? Yes. Yes, they do like worms. Are you about to feed them one? Well, hold on before you do. I don't know bass like worms, but like how much do they really like them? I'm gonna show you. So hold on, hold on buddy. Now, what we got over here is, you can see in there, we got tadpoles, we got crawfish, and he likes all those things. He does. And we're gonna do a video, we've done some videos on that. But we're gonna talk about actual earthworms and how much he goes crazy for him. Now, hold on, Michael, does he have anything in there? Yes. Hold on, hold on, <clears throat> hold on. Now look, we've got a tadpole in there. We've got tadpoles in the back, but look at him. Look at him, he sees, he sees that worm. Look, hold on, tadpole right there. But look at him, he sees that worm. And even though he's got, oh yeah, even though he's got stuff in there, he will eat a worm. See that tadpole right there? That tadpole right here. Michael. I got some other ones. You got some other ones? <clears throat> he will eat worms. It, it might kill him. Like he'll never stop eating them. He loves them. Even with other stuff in there, he'll still eat another worm. Okay. Oh, and there's another worm. Show it to him. Oh yeah, look at him. Is that all of them? Yeah. Okay. Got him. He's eating them. I bring this up because I mean we all know worms are like the best bait. It's all time fish catching this bait there is, and, and there's a reason why. I mean this thing, this dude will eat worms all day long. So I'm gonna show you some pretty cool ways to catch some earthworms that I had to go look up, I didn't know about. And this is what we do all the time. It really doesn't work uh, year round. It, it kind of works this time of the year in like May and stuff like that. And we're gonna go do some of that. But I wanted to show y'all like how much, having this bass has been incredible. It's really shown me what he likes, what he doesn't like, what he'll eat when he's hungry, but what he eats no matter what, no matter if he's hungry or not, Right. Yeah, we can show them what crawfish looks like. No matter what, he will always eat earthworm. I don't care how full he is. I've never seen him turn one down. So it's kind of like throwing those. What do you got there? Now put him back in the water. I didn't get him out of here. Well, I know, but he needs to be in the water. So, anyways, we'll go do some of that and show you, like I said, this guy, no matter how fat he is, no matter. No matter how fat he is, no matter how full he is, always eat a worm. This was not planned to be on the video, but I have to show this. So I always ask my kids to go get worms for the bass. Well, did, hey, did you find some? Yes, a lot. Show them, show them what you found. Mm. Those are all worms. It's been raining so much and they found this like giant, giant, we're just gonna call it a worm hatch. So pick up a couple of them. No, not that many, come on. Just, just like, no more than that. Okay, that's good. Go, no, no, go put them, go get them to the bass. We're gonna give them a couple for right now. You're gonna get fat. You're gonna get fat. <laughs> How is he full already? He's not full. He's just eating them all. And he'll go get every one of them. So, 
And just in that amount of time, he's eaten all of them worms. And if you probably, yep, yeah, he's already ready to eat some more. But he's not gonna get any more. I'm just not gonna stuff him. He doesn't need to be. Oh, oh, he thought he saw one. We found these at our school. Yep. In our little dish that lays to the little okay. thing that I drowned. You gotta go, go to soccer. Bye. So I'm gonna go put the rest of these in our backyard where I have all these other, where we get most of our other worms. Hopefully they'll just get a lot bigger and stuff. But I, I wanted to show you all that because like, it's amazing. It's amazing what's going on out there that we probably don't have any clue about. Like these worms coming out of the ground when it rains and it floods and how much they actually eat them. But we kind of have like a little compost deal out here. So I'll dump these out here and they should, like I said, I didn't have, I didn't know they were going to go find all this. I'll dump that, cover them up. Look, see, there's one. There's a couple of them right there. Like they just, they love, that's why I did all this and kept all of that all that pine straw and leaves. I just dumped it this winter and left it out there for them. And so I'll kind of go over that. And then we're gonna go worm grunt. That's gonna be on the video. And I'll show you what that's about. That's pretty cool. You can't do it all the time, but it's pretty cool. I learned this last year. Actually, I think I learned it from YouTube or something. So uh, if y'all don't know anything about that, that's pretty cool. You can do it with your kids if you ever need worms for like catching perch and stuff like that. But like I said, pretty interesting stuff. We got some, ba uh, got some food for the bass for a couple more weeks. So we still have our little pool. Didn't have much more stuff in there. I've kind of fed them all the tadpoles. The crawfish are all underneath that. Crawfish are all underneath that, that limb in there. But anyways, a little bit more to this story. So, hey, so what are we going to show them today? Worm grunting. Worm grunting. Worm grunting, okay. It's where you, it's where you, um, grunting is kind of like finding the worms. You have a stick with, like, little slides in Notches. Them. Notches, and you have another piece that would, like, kind of, you can make it at home if you have a chainsaw or anything that could cut up wood. And you would rub it together and it would make and it would vibrate under the ground so then the worms would think maybe a storm was coming so they would come up from underground okay yeah hold on hold that and show, i'm gonna show them so and leaves do help yeah we'll explain all that too so what we have here is watch it this is yeah. notches yeah you get further away yep perfect and then and so i just cut them out you need a pointy yeah, it helps to have a pointy one. And then I just got an, you just need another stick. Now it doesn't have to be a stick like this or anything. Just any type of thing that might be able to work. Right. Okay, so show this. So you put the, in the ground. So now we're gonna see if any worms come out. Worm, there's a worm that just came out. Yep. Okay, get it, Michael. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get that close. I Look, know. show that there's one. See, one. there's another one. Hold on, no, not that close. Let it come out. I know, I'm just seeing. I'm just showing. Here's one that was about hey. to come out. Don't get him yet, Mike. Oh, look. Show that. Show right there. Just show that. Here. Look at him. Look at him come out. Almost like little snakes. Here. Look. Show. Right there. Look. Just, yeah. Just show this far away. Out. Show this just this far away. I did. Okay. Look at them all. They're all coming out. Michael, come grab some over here. Look at them. Look. They're all coming out. And they just they just come out. And we don't put worms in here. They just randomly come. Yeah, in oh, here. there's another one that comes out. Look at them. You put it up close. I know. Here's one over here. There's one over there. Yep. Right there's there. another one right there. That? It's one of the coolest things ever. Here, there's keep going. So many popping out. I know. Yeah. They might just be there's like a right type there. of insect, but. Look at them. There's another one right there. You don't have to get them all. Here's one right here. Oh, mm -hmm. 
right there. It's Here. coming up to me. Yeah, that's good, Michael. Um, that is worm grunting. Uh, I actually learned about it on YouTube. I never even heard of anything like this. The problem is, it doesn't last all year. It works really good in the springtime. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it stops. I know it needs to get warm enough for them to come up to the Water. surface. The warmth really helps. That gets them up to the surface. Uh, when it rains, it obviously brings them closer up to the surface. We used to get them um, in our yard and everything. But what, what I've done this year was, man, I'm a dork. And so growing up, I always just used to dig in the ground and stuff. So I created this whole big area, which was all dirt. Uh, and we used to just dig up stuff here all the time and, and make a place to um, just, just always digging in the dirt, finding worms, things like that. Well, this year, all the leaves, all the pine needles, everything, I just started piling it on top. If you can see, I mean, it is it is on top of more. I mean, it it goes down there a lot. It's pretty silk under there. Yeah, and so it stays pretty wet from the rain. It stays pretty damp. And man, when you grunt on, when you put your worm grunting over stuff like this, you can see that's one little section over there. And we found ten in about ten seconds. So I haven't even tried over here. I do kind of use it as compost too. So I put a lot of uh, you know a lot of stuff that we throw out like food and everything away but i'll eat it two things one i get to feed whiskey uh and i get to show y'all a little bit about his eating habits because they've changed there's gonna be a part on here where i talk about worm fishing and feeding him worms and how i thought everything i knew was true but i never really fed him worms for days upon days upon days so I found something new that surprised me about it. And worm, worms have protein in them. Um, they have a lot of protein in them. So what we would call rich, they're very, they're, they're very rich for them. And so I think that's hard on them if we feed them too many of those. He actually kind of turned his nose up on them. So I'm learning some things. I never knew about this. Um, go ahead, what were you gonna say? I was going to say they have protein, but how, do you know how much protein they have? I don't know how much protein they have. You could I, search it. I know, here's the one thing I'll say, Michaela, is that, and I'll talk about this, this is what I was going to bring up. There are things that he, if you just, if you watch some of my other ones, I don't know which one's going to be first, but I'm going to have one about crawfish, tadpoles, and shad, and about how he reacts to each one of them differently. I'm pretty sure crawfish. Yes. What I'm gonna say is this: is he never turns his nose up for a shad, and what I mean by that is his belly will get so big on shad that like you can see the lumps in them. Worms, he won't. He'll eat a bunch of them. His stomach will never get big, and he like loves them. Like he freaks out over them to a certain point, and then he wants no more. He can fit more in his stomach, but something tells him I think that it, it'd be almost like. You can eat a lot of certain foods, but you couldn't eat just a whole bunch of cake, right? Something so sweet, um, eventually it would like hurt your stomach. I think that's kind of what worms do, that he can eat, a, he doesn't need as many of them to survive. Whereas maybe like shad and crawfish and some of these other things, uh, he'll eat them until his stomach gets just so big. I, I kind of see the same thing about tadpoles. He won't eat, he'll eat a certain number of tadpoles and that's it. He won't eat them anymore, and he won't eat them anymore in the next coming days. Like, he doesn't really want them. Worms were kind of like that. He ate a couple of them for a couple of days, and then all of a sudden, he doesn't really want worms that much anymore. I've never seen him do that with shad. The shad, um, I can feed him shad every single day, and he eats them every like single day. This. Huh? When you would come up those perch. Perch, that's perch. Perch are different. Um, I'm not going to do a perch video because... It's hard to catch small enough perch for him. He likes them, but he doesn't like big perch. Um, I think it's the bones. I think, I think he can't digest bigger bones of bigger perch when I cut them up. So he likes the tails of them. Anyways, that's worm grunting. It's also good for going catfishing, perch jerk, and everything else like that. If you've got kids, if not, you just want to not ever buy worms again. Like I said, it doesn't happen all year long. And I honestly can't tell you 
when they stop doing it. I think if as long as it rains a lot and stuff like that, they'll stay on the surface. I know when it's cold, I can't do it. And that's good. But like I said, four perch jerking and going to catch the shell crackers and all that stuff. We all do that this time of year anyway, so it's perfect timing. I've been waiting forever to show y'all the worm grinding technique. And no, this isn't the right time of the year to do this. I get it. Uh, but man, I've been actually having these videos in for a while. I just haven't had a chance to put them out there yet. So um, I had some time off. I was able to finish them all up because I wanted them to be kind of like a series where it was like every one of them in a row, just in case you wanted to go look at another one or kind of know what's going on. So I did them all. What I'll say is, a lot has happened in that year, okay? I I went through the whole video. I checked it all out. Everything I said back then was about 90% true. And what I mean by 90% true is, you know, there were some things in there that I found interesting. What I'm going to bring up, and, and this is going to be a whole nother, maybe this is going to be my last part to this, to this fish feeding and how they react. It, it's, it's pretty crazy on how they eat and why they eat. Okay, not what they eat, but why they eat. But yeah, the worms, like I said, when I first did that for the first couple of days, I thought it was gonna be, you know, oh, they'll never turn one down. Like I said, it was pretty cool after a while realizing, here's the one thing, here's the one thing I'll say that can translate. I think all this, I think all of it is knowledgeable when you fish. I, I just always believe that somewhere down the line, I think stuff like that will be knowledgeable. What I'll say is this, when I feed him really big worms, like I'll get some really, really big giant ones. And if you noticed, even when I fed him those small ones, you notice how he got a couple in there and spit them out and then went and ate some more? Like worms and some of these things, like they'll spit out, kind of why you get bites and then they let go of it. Um, worms, you saw him do that. The other thing is, is if you get a big worm, like a really long worm, they never eat hardly the whole thing at once. Crawfish, they do. Um, a shad they do. Um, they eat those things in one bite. It's crazy. The worm's not even that big. Like if you if you ball it up, it's small. But if you put a big worm in there, he almost always eats half of it first and it'll stick out and then he like it it takes the other time to get it in there. That's those like two bites you get. And you're like ding ding, that's him getting half of it and then getting the the rest of it. So I'm not saying you should wait longer setting the hook. I'm just stating that it is pretty amazing how they eat a worm. It's different, It's it's that's the way. But stick around. When you see the video, I'm gonna do it last. It's gonna be about why they don't eat, okay? Like what triggers them not to eat? There's there's some things that he does while when he eats uh, or when he's really hungry. I wish I could record it, like last night was nuts, dude. He threw water all over the floor for like five minutes. He was going nuts. And there wasn't a front or anything, but he was just, he was going crazy. But why he doesn't eat, uh, I had some issues for about a month or so. Now, he ate a little bit here and there, but we'll get into that. And I'll kind of tell you what I did to fix it. But man, yeah, it uh, he can go a long time without eating. It's not good, um, but it's crazy. It's crazy how they act, man. They're, they're different fish. It's, it's why sometimes you go out on the lake and don't get bit. I'm telling you, this is why. Like, I'm not saying I've got it all dialed in, but I've got it close. I've got some interesting things in there. Hope you like the video, guys. See y'all.